Hey there folks and welcome back for another sofa session and today I want to talk a little bit about who's the boss when it comes to your experience and I touched on this briefly in a shaving video the other day but I think it warrants doing a separate video on it. The thing that I think that's most important in this hobby for each individual is for them to determine what their experience has been with a given product. And what I mean by that is when you use a soap, let's say it's Williams Mug Soap. If you go into your den and you lather that Williams Mug Soap and you thought it was the greatest soap that you've ever used, it is. All right. No one can tell you otherwise. Not artisans, not me, not Mantic, not Geo Fat Boy. None of us can tell you you were wrong in that experience. You are the boss in terms of what experience you have with a given product is. The only experts, or, or let's, let me uh, go back a little bit. We are experts really on one thing, what works best for us. So I'm an expert only in what works best for this face, as ugly as it may be. <laughs> and you're experts on your face, all right? No one else can tell you how something worked for you or it did not regardless of whether they make it, regardless of whether they've been studying it for 100 years or not. If you think Williams was the greatest, it was the greatest. It's as simple as that. You have to determine what your own experience is. And to that end, what I recommend is, you know, when you're going to determine the things you're going to buy, um, be careful of, of the information you consume from an, a manufacturer or artisan because they're trying to sell you this product. All right, you do want to check it out. You do want to do your homework. But I always advise that you look at sources that don't have anything to gain. They're unbiased, all right? You read the description from the artisan and then you move along to people who don't have anything to gain. They're not selling the product. They don't have money to be made on the product. And see how they feel about it. And then make your determination. All right, don't go only on what you see from the artisan unless it's an artisan that you absolutely trust. And they are definitely out there. There are artisans that you can take their word. It's 100% it's going to be uh, correct. But even they can't tell you you're going to have a great experience with it. What they're going to tell you, you can rest assured it is the gospel in terms of the ingredients and all the best. These are the trustworthy artisans, right? But even they can't tell you you're going to have a great experience with this product. Only you can determine that. Now, I'm here to tell you folks, there are some artisans, probably not very many, very few, but a few that would sell you a turd and call it a tater. All right? That's just the way it is. They are in this for money and they cloak it in a bunch of other uh, buffoonery. But you can rest assured there are people who are in this strictly for money, and they would absolutely sell you a turd and call it a tater if they felt they could convince you of it. And many of them have convinced you of things that were absolutely not true. <laughs> I mean, it has happened. It's been proven. All right. So what, what I'm here to do is tell you, you get to decide. They don't get to tell you. So if you prefer vegan soap over tallow and you think it gives you um, a better experience, it does. However, if you prefer, say you get a soap from Sterling and it's, it's got lanolin, and you say the post-shave is the greatest ever, it does. And don't let anybody tell you it's placebo or anything else. You're the only one who is in your den. You're the only one who was using that razor. You're the only one who lathered that soap. You're the only one who used your water to perform that shave on your face. The artisan didn't. The manufacturer of the razor didn't. The manufacturer of the blade did not. You did. So you are the boss and you are the ultimate judge on what works and what doesn't work. So if you love lanolin and you are convinced that it works the best for you, it does. Conversely, if you love vegan and you just think it works wonderfully for you, more so than tallow, it does. You're right. Right? The artisan last I checked, no artisan has been in my den and shaved my face and lathered my soap and used my water. Only me. So I'm the only one who can determine that. So when I get in my den and I use these stuff, I go, wow, this was great. This was great. This is why I use products a lot of times blind. And I don't recommend that everybody do this because there's always danger in this. If you use a product blind, what I mean by that is you don't read a lot about it. My 
personal technique is. I'll look at the scent um, description and buy, and I try not to consume too much information from it um, after I make the decision to buy it. And the reason for that is I don't want preconceived notions to be floating around. All right, I want my experience when I use a product to be my own. I want to be able to go, okay, this is really great. You know what I mean? Sometimes if you read and consume too much information once you've purchased it, you're, you have expectations. That, well, not only that, but you have these preconceived notions. And you tend to believe it is what it is. And so I like to use it blind simply because you know, I don't have all this stuff floating around in my head. I'm just using the product. All right, so when I come out of that den and I've used this product, I know that, hey, I really enjoyed that or I didn't. So I'm here to tell you, if you use Arco, and there was a guy just in his razor brush the other day saying it's one of the finest soaps ever, and I believe it is, and you really like it, and you think it's equal to or better than everything the artisans are putting out, it is for you. No one can tell you otherwise. I don't care if they wear a lab coat. I don't care if they split atoms. I don't care if they're a PhD in chemistry. Right? They cannot tell you what works best for your face. Period. There can be no debate, debate on that subject. It's black and white. You know what works best for you. So my advice is, let that guide you. All right? Don't be herded like sheep onto buying the, the next thing or, or through all these bud, buzz terms or advertising campaigns where this stuff is constantly in front of your face. Boom, 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 new, greatest, greatest, latest, greatest. It's constantly coming, you know, like this, just constantly. Make your own decisions, all right? Make your own decisions. Because there are some brands who don't put that in your face every three minutes. There are soaps that come out from Katie's Bubbles that I didn't even know came out. That's how little he tries to push things on you. This is why I very much expect it. Now, I don't have a problem with advertising. Um, I say more power to you. I don't have a problem with making money. But, you know, when it's constantly in your face, you're like, Jesus. You know, it's like, man, I can't get around it. You know, and every group of, you know, you know what I mean? It's like... Uh, all right, we get it. It's the latest and greatest. And I get that. I mean, again, you can't fault anyone for advertising. But what I'm here to tell you is when the advertisement also, you know, uh, has all this gibberish in it about it being the greatest or whatever the case may be, decide for yourself. All right, who can argue with this? Decide for yourself. You, the user. Are you getting a turd or are you getting a tater? You decide. They don't decide for you. Making a pretty label, making an interesting label, doesn't mean the content of that soap is going to be great. It doesn't. But you can decide. And why wouldn't you? Why wouldn't you? This is the, why, the, this is the reason I always told you folks, or ask you folks to keep them up, keep them open, and follow the money to get to the truth. And this, it's this, this way in life, all right? And there's something else I want to mention, because the other day before I did the blooming video, I told you what tends to happen when uh, there are folks who have skin in the game, and, and you say, hey, you guys be on the lookout. There are people like me who will just tell you the way it is in terms of sometimes people are going to hoodwink you. And when that word gets out, and when these folks know they can't manipulate you, they then seek to discredit you. They then seek to paint you as negative or glass half empty. You all know you come here and nine out of ten videos are about, this is great. I love this. I'm having a great time. So when you see the one out of ten where I'm telling you guys, keep your eyes open, you know this is not coming from a particularly negative person. However, like clockwork, this is the campaign that's organized after the fact. Open your eyes, folks. Watch how these things work. Watch the response to these type of videos. You will see, and you can make your own decisions because you are the boss, remember, in 2017, and you're going to be the boss in 2018. You get a say in this, right? 
So when if you use a product and it was supposed to be the greatest of all time and it wasn't, it wasn't. And you've been here on this channel and seen me many times say, that is way too expensive and I didn't care for it. Like the, uh, oh, I can't remember the soap from Italy that was like 80 bucks. And it was like absolutely underwhelming for me. It is what it is. Now for others, that was the greatest soap of all time. And for them it was. But for me it was, was not. And so that is really in a nutshell what we're talking about here. You decide. No one else tells you what your experience is. Please keep that in mind, folks. And always consider, always, who has something to gain when they're giving you this information. All right? When they're telling you X is equal to Y, absolutely. Do they have something to gain in telling you that? Do you feel X is uh, equal to Y? If you don't feel X is equal to Y, then it isn't. Period. End of story. All right? Thanks, as always, for watching. And remember, keep them up. Keep them open. And you're doing yourself a disservice if you're not following that money to get to the truth. Let's make America shave again. Take care.